Hey guys, so it is Sunday and I am on my way to the grocery store. It's Sunday morning and I'm on my way to the grocery store because I wanted to make my chicken quesadillas for dinner. I'm gonna try and find the recipe. I did a video on it last year and so I wanted to make it today. I don't know, I just kind of am like craving it and also um, you know, since I am going to school now and doing YouTube and coffee and couture, I want to just have some things in the fridge that are easy for me to eat so that way every single night I don't need to like cook something. I haven't been vlogging a lot, which is something I do kind of want to talk a little bit about because I definitely thought about vlogging again for like a while, um, but ever, especially since I started um, like this whole like lifestyle journey I'm on and like just eating better and being healthier, I... Um, I really don't eat out that much, especially during the week. Like, on the weekends, I'll eat out, like, maybe once. But on the week, like, during the week, I don't really stop for coffee anywhere. I don't stop for lunch or dinner anywhere, really, like, on a rare occasion, maybe. But I cook for myself, like, 99, probably, like, 90% of the time. And then I was, like, flipping through this Canadian Living magazine that, for some reason, I'm subscribed to. And I get it in the mail. And I saw an ad for, like, the Green Giant, like cauliflower tater tots and I always thought I didn't like cooked cauliflower but one time I went for dinner at the keg and we got the general Tao like cauliflower and it was actually really good so I want to try making um buffalo cauliflower like in the oven uh, because I love like chicken wings and then I also want to see if they have the cauliflower tater tots because tater tots are a guilty pleasure of mine. I love tater tots. So if they have like a healthier lower carb version, I mean why not? Anyways, so I am vlogging. I don't know like how often I'm going to be vlogging. I've been getting some questions about if I'm going to be doing vlogtober and I don't think I will be doing vlogtober like officially like how I did last year every day vlogging in October. First of all, it's just a lot. Um, I know a lot of people think like, okay, I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but when you have to film every day, edit every day, like sometimes like, you know, you guys know how life is. Sometimes things come up and you don't have time to sit down and edit a video. So especially like this year where I'm just finding my groove of getting back, you know, going back to school and then, um, oh my God, all the pumpkins are out. You know, going back to school and then I'm also still obviously working full time with Coffee Couture and with YouTube. So it's just going to be like a lot of work and I don't want to commit to something if I can't like... I don't want to commit to anything if I know it's going to be hard for me to commit to. So I maybe I'll try vlogging a little bit more in October. Um, but I'm, I don't want to just commit to something and say, oh, I'm going to do a video every day in October because I know with like what's what I'm gonna be having on my plate I know that's not gonna be sustainable or possible for me and if you guys are familiar with my channel I vlogged a lot and then in February like I kind of just stopped the vlogs um, for various reasons but I just kind of needed a break you know like I needed time to sort of figure out who I was um, I feel like everyone's always figuring out who they are, but just to kind of reevaluate what I wanted to do, what I wanted to, where I wanted to take my channel, how I wanted to do my videos, like what I wanted to focus on, because when I went through a really difficult time in February, I just didn't really know. I was in a really down spot. I just was overwhelmed. I was so, it was just not a good time at all for me. So I feel so much better more at peace with myself and I think you guys can feel that too I just feel like overall just a very much more calm person a much happier person and I kind of honestly miss vlogging and I thought a lot about it while while I was in Greece and you know yes people are annoying like on like in comments like they critique everything blah 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 but then I think about all the people who are just so amazing and that and I think of the people that I've developed like genuine friendships with and I'm like why am I like taking that away from myself so I'm not gonna say I'm gonna vlog like 24 like all the time or you know every single day but I do want to vlog a little bit more because I genuinely did miss vlogging I know a lot of you guys are gonna be happy with that and I'm still gonna do my sit down videos and honestly I felt like when I was just doing vlogs that just doing vlogs made me really lazy in terms of my channel because vlogs are probably the easiest you know videos to film because you just have to take them along with you um, you know when you're doing them every day it does get pretty time-consuming but 
it made, it made me lazy because all I had to do was film what I was doing during the day. I didn't need to film anything else and it made me really lazy and I didn't like that. So I just kind of reevaluated everything kind of, and I'm really happy with the direction that I want to take my channel with right now. And I do want to include more vlogs. So yeah, uh, I will keep you guys updated at some points last year. Like my vlogs probably were a little negative. Like, am I going to say like, I'm never going to complain in a vlog again? No, I don't think that's possible. Am I going to say that I'm never going to have road rage in a video? Hell no, because I do have road rage sometimes. And yes, I know some people are going to say like, oh, your vlogs like, are, are repetitive, but you know what? I'm not someone, I'm not a person that lives in LA. I don't like, I'm in school now. I have a business. I like, I, I have a home. Like it's not like I'm in LA or I'm flying to Paris or Milan or Santorini or wherever, like every single week and you know, going to Bora Bora with, um, Smashbox or whatever. Like that's just not my life. And so yes, my vlogs are going to be sometimes repetitive where I am going to have bulletproof coffee every morning because that's what I have for breakfast every day. I am going to show you maybe driving to school, driving here, driving there, but like that's life. Okay. Like if you want excitement, if you want Casey Neistat, go watch Casey Neistat. That's not me. <laughs> they have their little fall display out. I was just talking about acorn squashes. I think this is an acorn squash because I love this with like butter and cinnamon and brown sugar. So I'm gonna get one, a little one. Oh my God, is this a pumpkin? I don't even think this is an acorn squash. I'm gonna look inside. These grapes are my favorite grapes. They're so interesting. Like you bite them and they pop out. It's so good. Okay, believe it or not, I've actually never had an artichoke and I see people always eating with like mayo. So I could probably find videos online, but let me know your favorite way of making artichokes. Okay, I think I was right. This is an acorn squash, but it just looked uh, kind of like a pumpkin. So I'm gonna get this small one. Good morning, guys. So it's Monday morning. This outbreak is like healing, but it's a little bit red right now. Anyways, everyone gets these. Um, it was so bad on my way back, like this is good, so I'm happy with it. Um, I'm currently stocking my male person because I ordered a big box of stuff from Lucky Vitamin. I'll show you guys what I got. I got a lot of questions about where I like to order um, or where I like to buy health food related things like my Bulletproof, my collagen, you know, maca the XCT's oils and everything and truthfully if I can help it I will order it from Lucky Vitamin because they have the best best prices. When I first started doing Bulletproof Coffee I went to a health food store in Montreal and I vlogged and I actually took the vlog down because I didn't want people going to this store because of me, if that makes sense. Like I didn't wanna, not that I didn't wanna give free publicity because honestly like everything I mentioned in my videos is free publicity and advertisement, but I just didn't feel right about sending you guys to this store because honestly they just ripped people off, including me like and my sister and Michelle and like, it just, I didn't feel right about it. So I took that vlog down. But when I first went to go get the vanilla ghee, well, I saw on KG's Instagram that the ghee was being sold at this like health food store. So Tony and I went, it was this big, like weird thing where they were like, oh, we don't have any, but then the, like a shipment magically came. And then when Michelle went back the next day, they were like, what, is, what are they, what are you talking about? Like, we've had it in stock like this entire time. So I don't know if they just didn't want to sell it to us, but then they did because they were gonna get $60 anyways annoying but um when i went to go get my first jar of ghee they chart they sold it for over 30 dollars which is crazy now i pay around um 13 to 15 depending but it's just like and that's canadian by the way so almost half price so um i buy almost everything on lucky vitamin the xct and the like brain octane oils are way cheaper on lucky vitamin i'm not sponsored by lucky vitamin i wish that'd be like the best sponsorship but i get like everything um my vital proteins collagen my um oils like i'm gonna show you guys what i got anyways so that's where i get a lot of the stuff so i'm stocking my mail lady because i ordered some like brain octane oil and a new adaptogen called um it was rice toko something, but uh, I decided to try it because one of my friends, Dara, she used to be Belle Du Jour NYC here on YouTube. She started this like health and wellness site. It's all stuff that I'm very interested in now, more natural ways of living, uh, more whole foods, some vegan stuff. You guys know I'm trying more vegan foods. I'm not vegan. I don't think I'll ever be vegan. She has a really, really amazing blog called The Wellness Vault, and I'll link it down below. And she posted a little post, I guess, about this 
thing from, by the brand Sun Potion and it's called like rice tocos or something. I'll show you guys. Anyways, it's an adaptogen just like maca. And I'm going to try it out today instead of my maca. And I also got the brain octane oil. And I'm going to try that in place of my XCT oil. Okay, I got a lot of questions about XCT oils and uh, brain octane oils. And honestly, I don't... I'm not an expert, okay? So from my understanding, MCT oils are medium chain fats. And Bulletproof, the brand Bulletproof, XCT is Bulletproof's brand of MCT oil. So I was a little confused about if there was a difference between Brain Octane and XCT oil because those are both oils offered by Bulletproof that are suggested to put in your Bulletproof coffee. So there's conflicting things. I've heard from some people that they're different um, because of their like caprylic levels, but I heard from someone who actually knows Dave Asprey, the founder of Bulletproof, that it's really more of like a marketing thing and it's not that big of a difference and brain octane is more expensive than the mct oil so i got the small bottle we're gonna try it we're gonna see and i'll let you guys know i don't know why i just went on an eight minute debut like rant about this so i woke up this morning uh had my lemon water i did homework i'm catching up on like homework i did homework last night so now i have school i have school today i have school every freaking day uh, i also started putting castor oil on my brows and my lashes anyways i'm really hungry now so i'm waiting for the box i could have made a regular bulletproof but i've been waiting for this like i ordered this while i was in greece and i i got home i ordered it like monday and it took like about a week so i'm gonna just wait a little bit longer so i can try all my new try basically bulletproof 2.0 okay so this is what i got in my lucky vitamin haul i'm gonna show you guys these first so these are these siete uh grain free tortilla chips and I've tried the sea salt version. A sweet friend and viewer of mine, Nicole, sent them to me. But uh, Lucky Vitamin recently got them back in stock. So I ordered the nacho flavor and the lime flavor. I tried them both. I had to rip into them, obviously. I was so excited to try them. I honestly think my favorite out of all three flavors are the lime. The nacho is good, but I think lime is better. And then these are the geese I got. I got another one of the vanilla geese because... These are always sold out on Lucky Vitamins, so whenever I place an order, I just throw, in a, throw one in my cart and keep it. And then these two are really good for cooking, but I love making popcorn with this. So I got the California garlic flavor and the white truffle salt flavor. Tony is actually the one who told me or showed me how to make popcorn. So um, this, these are really, really good. This is also a really good like thing to cook with because it has a very high smoke point. So... I'm very excited to have those. And then these are the two new additions to Bulletproof. So I got the Bulletproof Brain Octane Oil and the Sun Potion Tocos, which is a rice bran soluble. And it says that enjoy as a creamer in teas and smoothies or a spoonful direct to the mouth. So let's make it and let's see how we like it today. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. So far, I miss my regular Bulletproof. I don't know if it's the maca because I think the maca does add a good flavor. I'm also not using my regular coffee because I ran out. I actually bought a whole box of it at Costco, but it's still in my car. So I use like a random brand I had in my cupboard. So maybe that's what's messing it up. But the more I drink it, the more I'm kind of into it. But I, I don't know. I just feel like when you're so used to like your, the way you make things, sometimes when you try something new, it's a little different. Something I have been doing though, you guys know I don't really like um, the beef gelatin and like alone in my Bulletproof, but what I've been doing is one scoop of collagen and like half a scoop of the beef gelatin. So it's not that creamy um, because the scoops of the beef gelatin were so creamy and so hard for me to drink it. But just adding like a little half, like maybe even less than half a scoop of the beef gelatin has made it a little bit creamy, a little bit more creamy without being like thick mucusy. So that's what I've been doing. Hey guys, so I'm on my way. Well, I have school today, but I am actually on my way to um, buy a book uh, for my class today. Um, it's a funny story. Well, I mean, it's not that funny. When I went to school the first time, like, and you had to buy textbooks, I bought them new and then I realized like oh my god it's so expensive and like no one told me that you should buy them used so I know that everyone like pretty much knows that now since I got to school late like all the books I needed to buy not many of the books I needed were available used because everyone else I guess already bought them so I had a viewer of mine like introduce me to a girl who's in like the same program as me but I think like a year like ahead like she started last year so I got some books from her and then I needed a book for I think it's introduction, I don't know, some sort of business class I'm taking, and I posted on my Snap story if um, 
it's not staff story, Insta story, if anyone had the book they would be willing to sell. And one of my viewers or followers told me that she did. So I'm going to meet her so I can buy the book now. My class is at two and it's 12.30 right now. I'm meeting her at one. So I will probably head to like a health food store around there to get, um, a kombucha. So, want to hear a funny story? I was so excited to get these sunglasses. My best friend Nikki bought them for me for her birth for for her birthday. She bought them for me for her birthday for my birthday. And I, you know, when I was leaving for Greece, um, it was kind of hectic. And so, I brought so many sunglasses, and I forgot these. And I was so disappointed because these were going to be so fun. But uh, yeah, I didn't have them, so I'm wearing them today. I also want to show you guys a pair of shoes that I got and I got them because one of my good friends Megan you guys I feel like if you watch me you know her she is did I talk about her I think I talked about her but she posted an insta story with these shoes and I loved them and so I wanted to show you guys which I wanted to show you guys which shoes I got because they were really they're really really comfortable I want to get like the same style shoe just in a different color I've also been getting a lot of questions about this necklace and and I mentioned on my Insta stories like where I got it. I got it in Athens. I when I went this when I went to Greece this summer, I really wanted to get a Virgin like Mother Mary um, necklace, sort of like the one Jesse James Decker's. Oh, I should talk about Jesse James Decker. Sort of like the one Jesse James Decker wears, like that really tiny one. We sell a dupe for it on Coffee and Couture. It's a non-religious symbol. It's basically just a royal figure with a crown, but it looks really similar to the one she wears. And I just wanted a like solid gold one with a Virgin Mary charm, but I don't think I, I had no luck finding one the one really tiny one while I was in Greece. So I think I'm gonna bring um, when I was like really young, my yaya gave me a Mother Mary like a Virgin Mary necklace. Uh, so I think I'm gonna bring it to a jeweler and ask them to like replicate it on a very like a smaller scale. But I don't think I have I'll have I don't have not had any luck finding one that's already made. Oh, I also decided that I was going to be doing like a no buy because I buy so much makeup. Not only do I buy a lot of makeup, I receive a lot of makeup and products. I was kind of just like, I'm in a mood to just like use things up right now. So I decided yesterday, I like talked to Tony. I was like, Tony, I'm going to do this. And she's like, I'm going to do it too. People park like idiots. I'm doing sort of like, if you're an OG YouTuber, you'll probably remember this. Um, Lollipop26 did this thing called Project 10 Pan where she had to use up 10 things before she could buy anything new. Oh, I should show you my shoes since I'm just sitting here. Um, so I'm gonna do that because, you know, you don't realize it, but like every time you go into Sephora and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna buy this $20 lip liner, or I'm just gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy that, it adds up. So I'm doing Project, like, okay, my whole thing is like, I'm just using things up um, and not buying any makeup or skincare until the Sephora um, VIB sale. Uh, and that's in November. So I have like two months basically to use up shit and like get through things and not waste money. Not that it's wasting money because I use it, but just not spending unnecessary money because I don't need any more makeup. The only thing I will buy is like if I run, I only have one eyebrow pencil, so if I run out of an eyebrow pencil, I will buy the eyebrow pencil. Anyways, these are the shoes I got. Um, I don't know the style name, so I'll leave them linked down below, but these are so comfortable. They look like this, and I got a size eight. Yeah, normally I'm a seven and a half, like solid, but I read the reviews online and they said that like this sort of runs small. Um, and I also have flat feet, like wide feet, so I decided to size up to an eight and they fit perfectly perfectly I mean um, if I would have gone into seven and a half they would have been too small so definitely size I don't know if you I would say size up half a size so the, I got I don't know what color I got them in like I said I'll link them but I definitely want to get um, another color of these they're super super comfortable really really cute and I love that they don't have laces so yeah and I, I just I like this color it's like a lilac almost like blush sort of color so they're really really comfortable too I want to get another pair like maybe a more neutral pair but mama doesn't need any more shoes either so Michelle came over and it is five o'clock and I didn't have anything besides my bulletproof and kombucha so I'm gonna be making popcorn with the oh there is a coupon I'm gonna be making popcorn with the white truffle salt and the California garlic ghee so and then we're probably gonna flavor with some garlic powder and nutritional yeast so it's gonna be really really good